everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgunner307. We are here for one thing today only, and that is to finish up savings challenges so we can make a debt payment. I am so excited to get our debt paid down. You guys know that Mr. Snowgardener and I have been working for several years for debt, and recently we've had some setbacks with our personal life and business and things of the such. So we are here. We are still working hard on getting this debt paid off. So let's go ahead and jump into savings challenges. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be So today we have got $285 out of the Snow Gardener 307 budget. We are going to be doing shut the box again, you guys. I'm so excited. But we're not going to start out with these challenges right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish out our March binder. So excited to finish this one out. So of course, we need our dice tower and we also need some dice and I love these dice so let's see we need a no that's the wrong one we need a d10 and a d6 there we go and so for anybody that doesn't know how I do my monthly binders from Janelle Ray Budgets what I do is I use a dice to decide which one of these are going to get money. And so if you look, I've got 10 challenges in here. Janelle's comes with eight. I add in two extras at the end. And so in order to determine which one is getting the money, we're going to go ahead and roll a dice. So a number nine and a number nine all the way back here. This is Perger from my friend Liz over at Liz and Less. And I am excited because this one is all done. So we owe $15 for this one. So this is the biggest perger of all. So $15 and this means that this challenge is done. So how perfect is that? Now, normally if it was a regular video where this one wasn't done, I would let you guys know that the most times that I'm going to stuff this one is one time because it's not going towards debt. So we should have $75 here, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars and I have to tell you guys a secret. This money right here was going towards a girl's lunch. Um, I spent the money yesterday with Shannon and my niece, Allie. Um, we met at a local restaurant and had some queso and chips and a couple drinks. Um, it was after my niece got out of school and it was a lot of fun. So almost all this money is spent already. <laughs> but I was so happy that I had it. So number nine will become a new challenge in the April book. So let's go ahead and take a look. One. So one, we are just doing a roll and save. So let's see. So we've got $2.00. And you guys, we will know that this book is done when all the scratch offs are done. They're not all quite done yet. So uh, let's get this done, done. All right, there's one again. So five this time. And we're going to take all of this money and put it towards our debt. If you're brand new to my channel, that is what eight of these challenges are for. And these paper clips, you guys, a lifesaver. So this is a roller's choice. I tell you guys what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead and scratch one off of the CD right here. And I didn't even grab a scratch off token. There we go. And this is from my friend Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. So that is $1. And we only have one left on this. Now, normally, I would say we only get to scratch once. But we want to add this $50 to our April um, CD, <laughs> our CD ladder. So we are hoping that we get that to finish that out. And I'm sure we will get to. So number five, and that's a roller's choice as well. So let's go ahead and finish this challenge out right here. So that's four buckaroos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all this money out and I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see. So it should be $50. So this we can grab a 24 and then we can put this $6 back. And when we add it to the four we just did, that would be $10. So we have got $50 to go into our April CD for our CD ladder. So last two challenges are finished. That was easy peasy. So let's keep on rolling. So we've got a two and that's this one right here. So that's a roll and save and that's $2. And this is just extra money going to debt, you guys. If you have not thought about using savings challenges to pay off your debt, it is so much fun. It's the funnest way that I've ever paid debt off. Let's put it that way. So now we've got a one again, $3. 
All right, so we like getting this extra money put in here, but we need to look really quick and see what challenges are do we need to finish scratching off? So that one's done. Okay, so on the back of this one, so we need number six and we need number eight. And we're gonna roll a few more times and I tell you guys what, if we don't get six or eight and we keep getting the ones um, that are roll and save, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. And I'm hopeful that of course, we'll get some of the ones that are roller's choice. So three, and so a three is a roll and save and that's $1. How are you guys doing today? I can tell you what, if you hear the weather outside, I am so sorry. It is so loud out there. It is not even funny. It is blowing and snowing and just being silly because, you know, it's just too late for snow, dang it. Too late. So $1 for that one. All right. And we got a 10. That's a roller's choice as well because we've finished that one already. So uh, the dice probably heard me say that we were going to have to cheat to get these ones done. So that's $2. You guys, I just love these monthly binders from Janelle. I do want to let you guys know if you want a monthly binder from Janelle, they are far in advance. So you're not going to be able to buy like an April binder in April. That's not how she does it. And so just make sure that you reach out to Janelle and ask her when her next monthly binder is going to be listed because they take a lot of work. So she only does so many. So let's see what we got. We got a nine. That's a roller's choice. So let's go on back here. Let's finish this on out. So $6. We've only got one more of these. So five and six. And so you guys, how many of you guys have filed your taxes already? I know a lot of you guys are probably like, uh, Marlene. Yeah. Well, my accountant just got, uh, just called me today for... <laughs> my business taxes and of course my husband and stuff like that. And so we are just about done. I had to wait until my husband's business taxes were done before I could file my business taxes or my personal taxes, our personal taxes. And it's been frustrating waiting and taxes are never fun. Um, we have owed taxes for, I don't know how many years now, but several years. So we always expect it. And of course, when you have an Etsy shop, when you have a YouTube, you need to be prepared for that and make sure that you are saving money. So we're absolutely fine with that. We have got money saved. So six. Oh, yeah. So we're going to finish this one off. So $2. So that one is now done. And what did I say? What was the other one? Was it eight? So we need an eight and we need an eight twice. That's it. We're going to pull all the money at once and see what we've got. So that's why I didn't pull that one out. All right. We've got a nine. So that means we can go ahead and scratch one of the eights. And so that one is one dollar. So one more scratch off you guys, and we get to count what we have in this binder. So three and three is another roll and save. It's just teasing us. You guys, we got a five just likes to tease us the way that I look at it. This is just more money, more money going towards debt. And that's what we want Two, And so another roll and save, we're just saving, saving, saving. And that is a six. So five and six and a four. And so a four is a roll and save uh, just by itself. So two, so one and two. And a five is a roller's choice, you guys. So this is it. This is our last scratch off. Let's see what it is. And we got $1. So that's funny. There was only $2 left on that one. How funny is that? All right. So let's go ahead and scooch this stuff off to the side. Move our dice tower for right now. And let's go ahead and clear this money out. So from March, we have got this money right here. So we've got 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm going to grab a sticky note. Actually, let me grab a bigger sticky note so we only have one sticky note. Let's see if I can grab it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to keep track of how much for each page that we have. So March was 37, right, you guys? Let me double check just to make sure. Yes, 37, so I'm not losing my brain yet. All right, then we have got Shake Your Shamrock. So 
let's put that here shake wow when I'm in a hurry you guys my handwriting can be just awful and this is kind of a thicker pen too so if I was writing faster I probably shouldn't have used that one so we've got 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 and you guys, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that we have a saying, we have like to believe that every single dollar counts regardless of how little it is. And it's amazing. You know, you think $16, that's not much. It adds up. So we've got 10, 15, 21, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we're just going to put Easter on here. And I know I just read that out, but what did I say? 25. <laughs> losing my mind you guys losing my mind Alrighty, and then we've just got the hippie van the hippie van has got $17 in it and that's what we're going to call it because that one is so dang cute and just in case you don't know I am going to be reusing these binders next year because I just love this system and then five I don't believe has anything in it it doesn't and so then we've got succulents and we're just going to put suck, S-U-C-C. -C. <laughs> and let's see what we've got in here. Wow, we've got quite a bit in this one. Awesome. So we have got 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50 bucks. Yes, we like that. $50. And then that was a roller's choice, so nothing in there. And we've got strawberry shortcake. And so strawberry shortcake, here we are. So we're just gonna put strawberry. And how much does she have in her this time? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, you guys. So this binder is done. We're going to be using the April binder next. And you guys can see that these paper clips, I don't know if you can see, but they have kind of marked up the envelopes a little bit. Um, these paper clips are brass paper clips and they are so sturdy, but such a lifesaver. For any of you guys that watch me go back and forth and struggle and count to remember which challenges were which, so much easier. So for this book right here, I'm just going to scratch off all the scratch offs or peel them off if I can, or re uh, put stickers over them and I'll never remember what is what. And then we're going to go ahead and take out these two envelopes because these back two envelopes will be moved to the next uh, binder and we are going to do another Liz and Les challenge and that is going to be for something for me I don't know what yet and then we will still have the CD envelope as well so on these you can see so see how it leaves an indentation on those but hey no big deal all right, so that one's going off to the side. Uh, let's grab our calculator. Mr. Cassio happens to be sitting on my desk, so he is the lucky pick. So we've got 37 plus 16 plus 25 plus 17 plus 50 plus 22. So we have got $167 that came out of the March binder that is going to be going into our uh, debt payment. I love it, love it, love it. And then we're going to go ahead and shift on over to the red binder. We do have a debt challenge in here. And so we also have emergency fund. This is Year of the Dragon. And just in case you didn't know, I am a dragon. So I had to get this one from Janelle Ray Budgets. And this one can be spicy, but it's a $200 challenge. So let's roll a dice. Let's grab our dice tower. Let's see how many of these are we going to scratch. Let's leave this up to chance. And a lady luck. Ooh! Five of them. Oh my goodness, you guys. Five, five, five. <coughs> All right. So five. So we're going to do, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Whew. $12, $3, $8, $9, and $14. I knew there had to be another spicy one in there. So we've got 12 plus 3 plus 8 
plus 9 plus 14. So $46, you guys, going into emergency fund out of this. Absolutely amazing. I have no idea how much money we have in there. And today is not the day that we're going to figure it out. So look at that, you guys. We are getting there with this challenge. And then we have our debt challenge. We have another Liz and Less. And this is, she's, she said she could, so she did. And we're going to go ahead and pick. We're going to do two stickers today. We are going to do two $7 ones. So let's go ahead and do this. So this will not be paid out today, but that just puts us that much closer. And I'm trying to decide where I want to put this one. We're going to put this one down here. So $14. We're going to go ahead and grab a one out of the envelope and put $15. And we will definitely finish this challenge up next month. And I just love Liz's challenges, you guys. I know a lot of you guys are Liz fans already, but she's just so dang creative. Okay, and that is it out of the red binder. So now we have got our big binder and our big binder and also our other binders that we're using or our other savings challenge books. So I am grabbing my three savings challenge books. So these are it right here. And actually, before we start shut the box, let's go ahead and get Miss Georgette done and then we'll do shut the box. And so Georgette, just in case any of you guys did not know, this is a 12 month savings challenge book. You can start it anytime you want. And we're gonna need some markers for Miss Georgette. So we've got our February, our March. And so we have got all of this to color on the back. So let's count it out before we color it. So we have got five plus five is 10. And these right here were a dollar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. And the top hats were three. So three, six, nine, 12. And the beers are $2, so $8. So we're going to go ahead and add in $37, 20, 30. And we don't have any more fives, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I got kind of behind on Miss Georgette, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and get these colored. I'm going to grab some markers and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward you guys through the coloring. <laughs> good enough for the coloring. I need to buy myself new Sharpies because I put my Sharpies in a glass jar like this and man, I think I ruined them. So a lot of them are dry. And what color or what coloring utensils do you guys use? And we're going to go ahead and also you guys, we're going to scratch one of the Easter ones because I just can't resist. And of course, the funny thing is my challenge book has Easter for April, but Easter lands in March this year. So of course, if you know, if you don't want to do it in order, it does not matter, right? So let's go ahead and grab out the money for the March Georgette so we can see what type of debt payment we'll be making. And then we're also going to scratch an egg basket. Actually, we're going to scratch two. We're going to do the egg basket. So let's go ahead and scratch one of those. So $1 and then underneath you guys. Spoiler alert for anybody that has the Georgette book. Our cute little Easter eggs. So $1 there. 
And then we have got find the golden egg. So I have to determine what I want in here. So the golden egg, there is only one golden egg, you guys, one golden egg. So I'm going to make that $10. The open egg, the cracked egg, I'm going to go ahead and make that $1. A fried egg, I'm going to go ahead and make that $5. And a whole egg, I'm going to go ahead and make that $2. Uh, there we go. All right. So my markers, you guys, I'm like, that one was kind of dry too. And I have those in a jar, but I like them in a jar, you guys, because then you can use them. Now, what I'm thinking on these is I should probably flip these over so the ink is down. So let's go ahead and flip these over, you know, squirrel moment. For those of you guys that watch my videos, you know, it's one of those things where if I don't take care of it right now, I won't think of it. Well, there we go. Okay. So we flip those upside down and so we've got our dollar amounts. So we've got a whole egg and that's $2. Doo, doo, doo. Whole egg. And there are some surprises along the way too, you guys. So whole egg was $2. So we're going to go ahead and put this $3 into the life of a pig envelope. And then I'll let's grab a sticky note because you guys know me, sticky note, office supplies. I love how many of you guys from my last video are also office supply addicts. I just love all the office supplies. So let's go ahead and move Miss Georgette off to the side. And so this is uh, March Georgette. And let's see what we have got. So we've got lots of ones, obviously. Lots and lots of ones. So we've got 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. $49 for March Georgette. Perfect. Move this off to the side. We've got a big stack of cash. Now, you guys, let's go ahead before we get into our shut the box. We're going to go ahead and do a, another challenge. So this is the roll and save. And of course this is the life's a beach book. And we actually need the four sided die because that's what I'm doing with this one. We're going to roll all five times. So let's see what we end up with. So that's a two and a one and a three and a four. And last one, a two. All right, so for that row, we owe 5, 10, 12 bucks. So 10, 11, and 12. And then next time, you guys, we're going to start on this. Um, ooh, maybe we'll start on it this time. Let's see. So what did we have from a roll and save? Holy cow. Did I pull the right one? I sure did. Life's a beach. I guess there's a lot of rolls on that page. I was not expecting it to be this much. Oh, and you guys, towards the end... You can see here, so up here I was using a six-sided die, and it was taking quite a bit of money, but it was taking quite a bit of time. So on this row, I went to the D4, and that does make a big difference. So let's see what we've got here. Let's put all of our money in piles, and you guys, this is going to debt too. This is going to be a huge debt payment day, and I'm so dang excited. So another sticky note. I don't know why I just didn't keep the sticky notes out. And so we have got Life's a Beach. And we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. $87, you guys, for Life's a Beach. Amazing. Like I said, we've got a big old stack going. And then, I just can't resist. We're going to scratch one of these. And it's 1 to 9. It's a mystery challenge. I don't even know, you guys. I don't add any of this up when it's a mystery challenge. So uh, there we go. $6 is going to be our first bubble in the Bubbles Mystery Challenge. So $6. We don't have any fives, but I know we've got some fives over here in our stack. So we're going to go ahead and let's see. There we go. So we've got two fives right there. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that out because I do not want to put six ones starting off for this challenge. So five and six. And we are done with Life's a Beach. 
And so, of course, when you order those savings challenge books, you do get to pick what size of dashboard you want, whether it is an A5 or an A6. And we need to do Pop It as well. And I can't remember where we're at for Pop It, so let's take a look and see one two, three. Here we are. We are just going to scratch. Well, let's roll a die. We are letting Lady Luck decide our fate. Uh, we're going to scratch six. <laughs> so we're going to scratch these four. Whew, there's a spicy one. So those four and this one and this one and we will finish this up next time and this is going to be a good payment to debt as well so we did eight and four last time i messed this up because i forgot which ones i had scratched eight plus four plus five plus one plus nine plus two so 29 dollars Woohoo! 29 dollars going into pop it but of course you guys this is for debt so for our pop it we are going to go ahead and grab 20 30 and put one dollar back so these bigger numbers though are helping us get through this money quicker which is good and helping us reach our goals and then i was gonna say i don't even have a pop it envelope in here and i've got a dashboard or not a pop it i've got a dashboard that I created for shut the box, but we weren't doing shut the box. Yes, we, okay. Whew, this is shut the box. So I thought I had one in there, but I had rolled on right past it. So for shut the box, we need two dice, right? So we need another dice because I had put all my dice away because I hadn't been doing it. And we've got all kinds of dice. And it's so funny. My mother-in-law, when I stopped by just a little bit ago, she asked me if I needed more dice um, because she is an amazing thrifter, you guys. And she had a big stack of dice and I really wanted to grab them, but I have so many dice already. And so I was like, she's like, do you need these? Do you want these? And I'm like, oh, and I'm really trying to simplify my life. So believe it or not, I said no. I know. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I stayed strong. We are only going to do one row of Shut the Box. And if you're brand new for this, make sure you go check out Renee um, over at Reinventing Renee, Budget Nerd Co. on Etsy. She is the original um, creator of Shut the Box. And so we're going to do purple for the ones I roll. And we're going to do red for the ones I don't. These are my dot markers, you guys. So I'm not going to be coloring in the whole box. I'm just going to be dotting it. Should be super, super easy. So I'm going to roll with my right hand. No, I'm going to roll with my left hand and dot with my right hand. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've got three. So we're just going to put a dot on there. How easy is that, you guys? We've got ten. So we're going to go ahead and go nine and one. We've got six. We've got a nine, so we're going to go ahead and do five and four. We've got a ten, we're going to do eight and two. So you guys, we need a seven, come on seven. We got an eight, ah, oh, dang it. So that was super easy and fast, and let's go ahead and mark the seven. How easy was that? I like those dot markers so much. So five, six, and seven. And I just realized we did not set a dollar amount for when we shut the box. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and write that if we shut the box, we're going to do $25 for shut the box. Okay, you guys, shut the box. One of my favorite challenges ever. Then we have got Lucky Dice Drop. And so Lucky Dice Drop is a game uh, that I created. And I do have a reel on this one too. So if you need to learn how to um, do it, I'm going to use this as my token for where it's going. So one and a six and a six. And what was that? A four? A four goes over here and a three and a one. So $5. So one, two, three, four, and five. Let's see what we have got in a lucky dice drop. This printable also comes with a dashboard that you can uh, go ahead and print off yourself. So we have got $15 in there. We're gonna play this one more time and then we're probably going to retire Lucky Dice Drop. I've got one more video that I'm going to film. It may come out in April when it's actually posted. 
but it will still be March when I film it. And then you guys, we have got save 2024 and 2024. And for this one, we need our D12. D12, where are you? Here's our D12. We're going to go ahead and roll our D12. And we got a nine. So the way that I've done this is this is 12 sections. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what do we have in here? We've been trying to do the biggest one if we can. So we've got a $30 one. Let me grab a colored pencil because I have not grabbed one as I almost threw it on the floor, you guys. So $30. Okay, and we are going to do it one more time. One more time. And we did two. So that's a scratch off. Oh, goodness, I hope we have enough money. Scratch off, scratch off. All right, here we go. Oh, whew. $10. 10 buckaroos. So uh, that is 40 bucks going into our emergency fund, you guys. 30 bucks. And you guys, this is from Nita over at the Almost Organized Owl. And just because we're in 2024 does not mean it is too late. So 2024, there it is. Okay, and you can see there's still savings challenge money in here. That's going to be another video. That's the one I was telling you guys about before we retire a lucky dice drop. Okay, now we've got uh, this a little bit of money left here. And I want to grab out my Christmas binder. I've got an IOU in there. So here's my Christmas binder. And this is from my friend Janelle. Again, she's an amazing binder creator. Let's go ahead and move on back and see what did we owe to Liz? We owed five dollars. One, two, three, four, five. So that means we have got fourteen dollars left. And uh, let's go ahead. Uh, should we try? <laughs> I'm like, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And you guys, this I oink you is one of my newest printables. Um, you can purchase this on my Etsy shop too. And when you print it, if you want, you can do it double-sided. So it saves a lot of paper. All right. So yeah, I'm a little bit scared and you know, what's funny is I, I want to, I want to do it. So we have got, uh Oh, I don't think we put another challenge in number eight. We didn't, we need to get a Christmas challenge in number eight. So this works out perfect, you guys. Yasmin was already listed on there. I found another one of Yasmin's cha uh, challenges. Now it's really big for this book, but we're going to roll with it. So I'll be able to erase this little uh, gold, gold. That's not gold. That's like teal. <laughs> this little teal asterisk star that I put next to it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and do this. We've got our D12 and we're going to go ahead and go through this. And so we have got nine and number nine is Vita. And that's going to be after Yasmin. So that will be super easy. And let's take a look. Oh, I think this is going to be the last one. You guys, it is, this is our bonus. So let's go ahead and scratch it. I'm scared. You guys, Oh, $12. That might be all we do today. <laughs> We have got 10, 11, and 12. That gives us $2. We're going to keep these $2. We're going to put it into our savings challenge because we don't want to have an IOU. But, of course, uh, that means that we need a new challenge for a number nine. And we need to see how much we are moving into our Christmas sinking fund. My Christmas sinking fund is kept in a high yield savings account so that we can make some interest on it. So let's take a look and see what we've got. I don't even know. This is a mystery one, so I don't know how much money we've saved. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, one, two, and three. $63 going into our Christmas sinking fund. So super excited to add money into Christmas because Christmas is one of my favorite times of year. All right, you guys, uh, that is it. And now I'm hoping that challenge isn't too big, but that's what we're going to do. We'll see how it does, right? You guys, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Thank you guys for joining me today as I did all the things and stuff for the savings challenges. Now, if you want to stay tuned for a debt update, make sure you stay tuned. I'm not going to talk when I'm doing the debt update, so I'll go ahead and do my theme song, which so many of you guys absolutely love. 
and we'll go ahead and count out the money that we have going to debt and we'll add it to the debt tracker. So for those of you guys that don't want to stay tuned, thanks for joining me. And for the rest of you, well, stay tuned because you want to watch the rest. <laughs> and until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day.